Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and we're gonna drive and talk for a little bit because I just got out of a comic book store and I had a, a great debate, but it also shows me the problem of, you know, some of these complacent fans, if that makes sense. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because I went to, um, you know, just a comic book store around called Books and Comics. You know, it's a, it's a comic book store over here where I stay at because, you know, well, not where I stay at because, you know, I had to kind of find places and stuff like that. You, you better get the fuck up off of me. Let me see. I think this is it, right? Yeah, I need to turn this way. Yeah. I be forgetting sometimes. What the hell? Get over. God damn. Shoot. All the darn nonsense. Look at them already driving up on a, on a nigga. But anyway. Um, I went over there and I got some comic books. So I got y'all for the Wonder Woman stuff. Because I know how much you guys love Wonder Woman, all right? <laughs> so I got you Wonder Woman and Power Girl, which I will read and review for you guys. Because let's be honest, I know how much you guys love when I talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> you know, oh crap, I didn't even realize that car was about to turn. Oh well. The light will turn um, red or whatever and stuff like that. Let me get over. So, um, you know, um, I'm just letting you guys know that I did get some covers. So I got I got all of the Wonder Woman um, issues so I can catch up and review. So um, when I do Wonder Woman, I'll be reviewing issue three and four. And then Power Girl, I'll be doing issue two and three as well. And then I got some Brave and the Bold comic books that I won, um, I'm also going to probably talk about because I think that's really cool um, with the power with the Brave and the Bold because these are like miscellaneous things and stuff like that. Um, I could spend a little bit all day into it, but oh shit, I'm in the wrong lane, ain't I? Oh, my bad, my fault, folks. I didn't realize I was in the turnaround. I thought I was in the right. I thought I was in the other lane. Dang. I am stupid. <laughs> and this bitch blocked me. Gosh. I can't even get out. I can't even get out. But anyway, I forgot about how much, you know, you can kind of have arguments. But I did find a person that was a little bit complacent and the the nonsense that's going on because he was he's like you know because when he have discussions you know discussions with his um he was some he's a comic book owner and it's kind of strange for a comic book owner to be complacent about all the things that are happening in dc and marvel because see he's one of those kind of people you know well it doesn't matter it's just comic books at the end of the day no no it's not comic books at the end of the day and i'm glad that his um partner was right there because he's like no it's not about it's not just comic books at the end of the day because if that's the case then what's the point of us buying it you know if you're going to ignore the continuity if you're going to tell me that it doesn't matter when there are continuity issues going on with these stories when there are real issues going on, then why should i purchase this stuff you know what i'm saying and the guy was like the, the other the other guy who was who was on my side he was like he's got a point and he was like, well, you know, the greatest story or the greatest continuity story was Crisis on Infinite Earth. Yes. And it, yeah, you were talking about erased continuity. Yeah, but it was a story yeah. that was set up. Not like how um, the New 52 just happened or all new, all different happened. You can't change these characters around. He even tried to take up for Alan Scott Green Lantern because he was talking about, well, it's kind of great because we get to kind of see what gay people went through in the 1940s in the military. No, no, we don't because it's not genuine. It's not real. That character is not gay. If you needed a gay character, you could have did Obsidian. Why you didn't just do Obsidian? That didn't make damn sense God gave. Like, y'all don't think about this kind of stuff. It's just like, you want to be complacent about stuff, but you're not understanding. There's a reason why you have to have a bookstore connected to your comics in order to sell this stuff. If you weren't selling old comic books, you wouldn't be able just to be, because you know, you couldn't rely on brand new comic books all the damn time. And I'm looking at your store, you got mostly used comic books, used books to cover that cost because that's easier said than done when you're um, subsiding that. You're not focused solely on just 
comic books. And you're definitely not making a lot of sales from new comic books because you don't order that many new comic books because a lot of people aren't interested in new comic books. So for you to even sit up here out your mouth and say that kind of stuff, but, I, but you know, he kind of shut down because he was talking about, because he had that argument with his, with his, his response, just like his dad, because his dad is also one of those people who's just like, no, you can't just throw out whatever you want to continuity has to be some kind of important price on infinite earth made sense and i said yeah and for 30 years we had straight continuity yeah we had a few errors sometimes but for the most part dc was doing fine until the new 52 and what happened with the new 52 they did they changed continuity for no reason when nobody asked them to yeah you might have gotten new people in but at what cost you know what I'm saying? You lost a lot of your old fans because you disrespected them by rebooting a continuity that nobody asked you for. The reason why Crisis happened was because the continuity had got out of control to the point where they didn't know which way was up and down. There's a reason for it. There's always context. And I hate when people be trying to use that as context. And you would know that if you really were a comic book reader. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. The person, the person that actually works at the comic book store don't you know i was like you, you just like those females like the females who claim oh i love comic books but then you get characters like wonder woman and power girl let's depress them let's desexify them because that's offensive you know like who who, do, who does some shit like that you know that is weird as hell don't nobody wanna don't nobody want no damn desexified power girl don't nobody want no desexified wonder woman that's an issue and trying to take characters that we love for all these years and then try to say, oh, let's make them gay and shit like that. Who do you think your audience is? Straight men, mostly straight people. So again, I was just like, I'm, I'm more confused. Like why the fuck you up in this comic book store? But I didn't get a chance to get all into that because you know, I had to go. But um, I do like having those kind of discussions. <laughs> Except for, you know, I don't really like somebody who's trying to pretend like you know what we're saying is a lie or whatever and junk like that because it's just like mm, come on now like mm, well it's just comic books at the end of the day or it's just it's just a book if it's just a book then why do people why do you want people to buy it then like that's the i hate when somebody rebuttals with something stupid well it doesn't matter it's just this okay if it's just this then why do you have a store selling this stuff did you ever think about that no, you don't think about it. When people say dumb shit like that, well, it doesn't matter. It's just a movie or whatever. A movie that you... God damn it. Oh, at the last minute. God. Fuck, this motherfucker done set up there and got on break at the fucking last minute. Jesus Christ, I'm so glad I was able to damn swerve. Like, what the fuck wrong with these goddamn people? Jesus fucking Christ. You can't just fucking stop and then put your signal on at the last second, moron. God damn it. Jesus Christ. I hate when people do that fucking shit. How the fuck you gonna stop and then put a signal on at the last second to indicate that you turning? Don't nobody know that shit? God fucking Christ. But anyway, like I was saying, you it, 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 it blows my mind when people be like, why are you so upset about this stuff? It's just a book or it's just a hobby. Well, it's a hobby that I put time and effort into, money into. And if that's the case, then why the fuck is it being made? Or the fact that I said, the only reason why Marvel and DC are around right now is because they got parent companies. If they didn't have parent companies, they wouldn't be able to do none of this shit. So for you to even say that it doesn't really matter, shows like you don't really belong in comics. You don't even deserve to have a comic book store. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. Because I hate when people does that. Like, I, Or I hate the fact that oh, I don't want to be co controversial or whatever. Newsflash. It's going to be you, you, when you're debating with somebody or when you're talking about something passionate, which I already know that person don't have that, that passionate with. Because if you shut down your own father about it by trying to rebuttal by saying it's just a book or it's just a comic book or it's just a character, then it shows me that you do not care about this shit. It shows me that you not here for good intent. And it's just like those writers and artists that sit up there and change the character's continuity or change them around 
or debuff them because they feel like it's offensive to people. Offensive to who? Offensive to you? Because I didn't ask you to come up in here and make changes to characters. Talking about it's good to see rep gay representation. We already had gay characters that were already gay. But at the same time, don't nobody want to read gay Green Lantern. I'm sorry. Don't nobody want to read gay Robin. You know what I mean? Don't nobody want to read covered up any insert any female character when they're not even covered up sexy. I'm just being honest with you. And it's it's really alarming to see this. It's really alarming to see this to, just to see this nonsense. You know what I'm saying? So mm, it is what it is. Um of course, I'm gonna go back to the comic book store. I'm not gonna let this let let uh, uh, a little simple argument stop me. But I'm just saying it, it, it is worth it is worth a thought. You know what I'm saying? You know, here comes a thought that can remind me things that they said. No, 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 no. Something from Steven Universe. I like that song. It was it was cute. It was cute. It was cute. Um, I really don't really like much of, of Steven Universe, but sometimes I hear a little bit of song from. From um, you know, um that sing the singer Estelle from that show. That was that was, that's why she can definitely sing, um, of course. But um, yeah, it is what it is. I just kinda wanted to hop on here again and make a little quick video, a little side note tangent or whatever. Hopefully, um I can get back home, get me, you know, read some alpha core for you guys, and we'll we'll see where we go from there. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comments section below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.